Hey y'all. Well, today's video is something more of a serious subject matter. Let me put this down just a bit. There we go. All right. Anyway, as you know, I have been putting out videos about um, parks and their trails, and their commodities and everything, and like attractions as well, like museums and whatnot. And then I've been giving you my videos on how I've been doing with my weight loss journey, my ups, my downs, my ins, my outs, my triumphs and <laughs> my letdowns. I've also been sharing with you various other objects like I've been giving you some bios and documentaries and uh, I've even entertained you with a little bit of comedy with Big Mouth and um, with her doing food reviews and just you know I've been giving you some content and quite frankly, yeah, sometimes I get long-winded and I make the videos kind of boring. Even when I go over them again after I've already published them, like they make me yawn and I go, Amy, shut up, you know. But I am going to be talking today about something that I have noticed about YouTube. Now, if you haven't really paid all that much attention... You can only have an account with YouTube using a Gmail. Why? Because, okay, first off, Gmail is run by Google. It's Google Mail. Second off, YouTube is run by Google. And therefore, you can only have a Gmail address to even do a YouTube account. To be a viewer alone, not even make a channel. But you also have to have a Gmail account to make a channel. So once again, you're running through Google. Okay? Google is a very large enterprise. Their search engines running YouTube and all these other small monopolies. And, of course, Google has also found a way to make money. Believe it or not, through Google itself, there is a way that you can earn a little bit. But I've never gone deep into checking it out. YouTube has got this policy that you can become monetized if you come to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours worth of view okay uh, for me when I started out I thought okay it's possible that I can actually reach that in a decent amount of time well I've been doing videos now for four years with over a thousand videos put out okay and they have just launched, because I am a creator, I get uh, emails with updates. Uh, they show how my algorithm is done. They also uh, show what they're planning to launch, their new programs and stuff. And this stood out to me. So they are starting out. You know, where people's been doing all these different shorts. And the shorts are adorable. The most of them are comical in a lot of ways. They're just extremely entertaining. They're easy to keep your attention because they're not long-winded. And they're just, you know, they're fun. So, even I have done shorts in the past and even currently. And... They said that it can now be part of the earning if you get 10 million views in 90 days on your shorts and you still have to have a thousand subscribers. Okay. This is the downside 
So they've got their policy that you don't earn until you've got a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours view time. And on top of that, they have to look at your videos and put in consideration whether or not they're even worth putting money on. And now they're getting ready to start this where you can get paid for your shorts if you've got a thousand subscribers and 10 million views within 90 days. Well, all this seems like it all goes to these big creators, these, these large creators. And the way I see that, that's a little unfair because there's quite a few of us smaller YouTubers. Quite a few of us. I have seen so many other YouTubers, other creators that's got even less subscribers than me that I have actually done shout outs for to try to encourage traffic to come their way to help boost them. And yet here, the, these big YouTubers, these ones that's already got so many subscribers and stuff, is getting more rays of earning. And also, on these bigger YouTubers, they've even provided a way that you can just click on a little heart and donate. Okay. I could see be re being rewarded for doing such an excellent job that you've earned so many subscribers, so many views. I can understand that, being rewarded for that. But somehow it just doesn't seem right. And I'll tell you why else. I have noticed on quite a few of my videos that I have managed to get over 100, even over 200 views, which isn't very many of them. But the ones that I have succeeded that far in getting that many views, they've put an ad on. This one here in particular. You see, that video is over two minutes long, and there's two ads on it. The first ad being over two minutes long. I'm not seeing a dime of that. Not a dime. But YouTube is making money off of my larger viewed videos. That doesn't hardly seem fair, does it? Because... YouTube doesn't put out the effort to find the material, to take the time out of their day to make it, to edit it, to post it. All they're simply doing is just putting it onto their platform and processing it so that it can be viewed. So how is it that they are able to make money off of my videos when I haven't even reached their required crow for me to earn. Well, for one, okay, I did read in the terms when I started that once the videos are published, they become YouTube's property. Fair enough. I upload to YouTube. I'm giving them my material. All right, fine. But why is it that they get to start earning money on the ones that brings in the most algorithm without giving me a small, small share of it? Because it's a little scheme of theirs. That's why. The longer it takes for somebody to reach that requirement so they have to start paying them and yet they may be getting the right algorithm, the more money they can get Google, YouTube, as long as the creator hasn't reached 
that high bar. And it is a high bar. A very high bar, honestly. But I have found that there is two platforms, two, that actually goes over top of YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there sure is. Let's go on ahead and start with BitChute. B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E. BitChute. It is set up so that you can instantly earn. But this is how it goes. Right now, they're still currently kind of setting it up so that they can put ads in your videos. But until they got, they've got that set up, they give you a little button on your little profile bar that somebody can click on and give you tips. And there are four different payments that BitShit BitChute uses that you can receive those trip those tips through. Patreon and PayPal are two of them. And then there's two other payment platforms. If you've got an account with those and you can set that up. So somebody can easily tip you even one time or reoccurring just through that. And you don't even have to have an ad. Somebody can just tip you. And you not even have that many subscribers. On BitChute, I've got 17 subscribers. Um, I'm not quite positive how many videos I had put out, but a lot of them has got over 500 views. A whole lot of them. The smallest view that I've gotten so far, the last time I looked was yesterday, 24 views. And that was on the last one that I've posted. The rest of them has got views from about 120 and up. The highest view I've got is 515 views. But shoot has got quite a few people on it. And um, the one great thing about BitChute is it's free speech. You're allowed to talk about any subject boldly and not worry about either being removed or penalized to be threatened to be removed. Unlike YouTube. And of course, Twitter and Facebook. And then there is Rumble. Now Rumble does depend on ads and algorithm to pay you. But here's the good thing. They immediately, as soon as they're done processing your video, immediately monetizes it. I've only been doing Rumble now for, um, oh, and I've done, I've been on BitChute now for three years. But on Rumble, I just started it a couple weeks ago. And so far, I've got 22, 23 videos posted so far. The most view I've got is 14. And the least view I've got is 4. I've only got like one or two following me. And it is on Rumble that I had just started Big Mouth's food review once again. So she's reviewing food. Yesterday was her first. And today she's got one to do as well. But that's something entirely different. That's her own channel. Big Mouth's got her own food review channel on Wumble. But anyway, this is the really cool thing. Wumble and BitChute does not require that you have so many followers and so many view hours. Um, I read through the terms on Wumble. And it didn't say anywhere that you had to have so many followers and so many view hours. Like I said, as soon as they get your video processed, because like some of them, 
a few of them it took three days for the pending to be approved for the monetization three days uh, yeah, I guess it's according to what material you put out and how long the video but mine mine has even become monetized after one hour of being posted so it really has to do with the algorithm there are ads and so with the algorithm the views and the likes of course you get monetized I saw one person that maybe had like 10 videos out maybe more than that but I only saw like around 10 videos or so had just a little over a hundred followers I think I saw like 136 followers or something like that and these videos was just on pets just on pets and one video they made over two hundred dollars the rest of them I saw that they was at, they was up to like 36 cents and on another video a little over two dollars and another video like over six dollars but on one of those pet videos over two hundred dollars and rumbles policy is you can't cash out until you at least have fifty dollars who rich still is a bad so you reach fifty dollars worth of earnings on your videos you can go on a hand cash out if you wish um, and you can choose to either be paid through PayPal or they offer you a check when you make your channel and you go to make your profile information because they require your phone number and your address like most uh, platforms when you get serious with them and um, then they ask for your email address that's associated with your PayPal well if you click on that it also gives you the choice to receive a check if you prefer a check over using PayPal so far that's the only two ways I've seen that you can be paid but nonetheless your videos are immediately monetized as soon as the pending is over but yet on YouTube you are not monetized until you reach a thousand subscribers and four thousand view hours and then after they review your videos and see if they're worthy to even monetize so this is what I'm driving at if you're doing well with YouTube and you don't have any complaints about it you're earning it and everything or you're just really riding it and being patient about it thinking that maybe you might get monetized or whatever it it's still your choice because I'm not ever going to be pushing it my suggestion is go on ahead and check out BitChute B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E and or Wumble.com R-U-M-B-L-E com now right now the way it goes like it seems like BitChute's got more creators on it than rumble at this time but rumble is quickly growing and the good thing about rumble is it's also a free speech so once again you can post a video boldly and you won't have to worry about being penalized or removed so you've got your freedom of speech through BitChute and Rumble. And um, the other cool thing about Rumble is Rumble has now officially been added to the share of NASDAQ. And NASDAQ happens to be the leading stock in the stock exchange. And now Rumble has shares through the NASDAQ. So you can invest in rumble shares which is pretty great news for people who invest in stock you can invest in rumble stock it's a dollar a dollar sign r u m that's what their stock code is dollar sign 
capital R, capital U, capital M. That's their stock. Pretty cool, huh? So even if you don't earn money on your video through the platform, you can still buy their shares. Pretty cool. So yeah, um, if you want a better, decent chance of getting something for your hard work, because I know that how hard it is if you do a uh, snapchat or TikTok and you do various characters it takes a lot to switch from one character to another or if you're doing bios and documentaries and you have to find the right photos and put it in the right timing whatever you're saying and put the photos in just right you have to have the editing tools me, I go with the free apps on my phone because I don't have a computer and software. But I know that a lot of yens may use a computer and software that you put money into. And it takes the time out of your day to even bother it. A lot of my latest videos has took me up to five and six hours just to uh, read up on the material, to gather my photos to shoot the video, to edit the video, to put in the photos, to upload. I mean, a lot of work, a whole lot of time took out of my evenings to get these videos up. I don't just do them on, like, you know, it takes time. You got to think the script out and everything. Even if you don't write it down, you've got to think it through. So there's a whole lot of work involved with putting videos out just to entertain the world. And you're just short of being an actual movie producer that you see on a television. You're just short. And there's a lot of work into that too. So YouTube really doesn't recognize us all that well. Only the ones of us that all of a sudden has hit the Broadway strip. There's a lot of us who hasn't. And I think it's highly unfair that they have opened up more ways to earn for the ones that's already earning. That's already up there on top of that ladder. And here's us small folks trying so hard, putting all the effort in that we can. And we're hardly getting anywhere. And they're not even offering us a dime, but yet on the ones that might really give them the algorithm, they go on ahead and earn by putting ads in it. Doesn't really seem right, does it? I'd rather go on ahead with the platforms that offers me monetization immediately. That way, when the algorithm is right, I'll be getting that penny as soon as it comes. I won't have to wait to have so many follows. I won't have to wait to have so many view hours. As soon as the algorithm hits just right, I'll be getting that money through rumble.com. Or if somebody likes my video enough and they can go on ahead and give me a tip or a recurring amount already, right now, as soon as my video is published. It is a part of that. My channel itself is monetized. So every video that I put out on BitChute, as soon as it's processed and published, I can earn on it. E even without somebody watching the video, they can watch one of my videos, just one, and go on ahead and decide to give me money. My channel, not my video, not per video, but my channel itself, BitChute. B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E. So, I'm going to slowly, very slowly, because I've put so much effort into YouTube. I've put so many videos into YouTube. And I have been on YouTube for four years, working really hard. I know there's been some that's been on YouTube even five years, six years, and just now reaching over a thousand. So there's a lot of work that's gone into it. But I am slowly, very slowly, transferring my work to rumble.com 
and to bit shoot, where I have got a greater chance of earning a penny. I would be tickled to see one penny. I would be tickled. So yeah, I'm slowly moving over, slowly, where I've got a greater chance of earning a little bit of what I'm getting right now. Right? Now, so far I've not earned anything on Rumble. The algorithm has it hit just right. But there are ads by my videos. There are. The ones that have become monetized when the pending is over, there are ads available that can be clicked on. Now, if it's still pending to be monetized, there isn't no ads by your video, even though it's already published. But once the pending is over and you're monetized, those ads pop up. And there's one beside it and one below it that can be clicked on. That helps a lot too. But so far I haven't even earned a, a, a penny. Not even a penny yet. But I have got high hopes that it's going to be happening. I've got very high hopes that it's going to be happening. And um, the same thing with BitChute. I did actually get a tip once. Somebody gave me one tip if I remember right, it, um, it was either 5 or $10, but they did. They tipped me once. And I was so tickled and grateful for that. So, yeah. And <laughs> so many less subscribers. I think at that time I only had 12 subscribers on BitChute. So, yeah. A greater chance of earning. And me personally, I've made YouTube a career. I have made making videos a career because I am coming very close to saying goodbye YouTube. If they're going to continue making these ways of giving money to these higher YouTubers, these higher creators that's already earning decent, I'd rather go on ahead and move on to a platform that I've got a greater chance of earning right now with me being a small fry. And I don't have to wait until I'm a big fry to get maybe some money. I'd rather have a maybe of get some money being a little fry right now. So the choice is yours. Remember, bitch shoot. B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E. Mark Dice, any of you who are interested in Mark Dice, he also posts on BitChute. And he's doing pretty well on it. I'm, I'm sure he gets a lot of views on it. On occasion, I prefer to watch his videos on BitChute over YouTube. And Rumble.com, R-U-M-B-L-E.com. Go on ahead and check out those two platforms. Give them a chance. Upload your videos on them and see how you feel about them. See if maybe you earn or if you feel like you're getting a greater chance that you're getting more views easier. I'll also tell you like this. Even though I don't have but like one and two followers on Rumble, my percentage of view is a lot higher than what I'm getting here on YouTube. Like for instance, right now I'm at 465 subscribers. And I'm lucky if I get 10 views on one video. That's a pretty low percentage for even that many subscribers. That's pretty low. But yet, on Rumble, with around just one or two followers and... My highest one is 14 views, and my lowest one is 4 views. It, kind of do the math on that. The percentage is pretty high for how many followers I've got, right? And even on one video, I've got like 28 likes on it. A pretty high percentage for being a nothing right now. And on BitChute, as I said, I've got 17 subscribers. And my highest view is 515. And my lowest view cur currently is 24. 
that's a pretty high percentage also compared to my percentage here on YouTube. Kind of do the math. Kind of do the math. A greater chance of going on ahead and earning being a small fry on BitChute and Rumble over having to rate for how long? Now, I've seen some YouTubers just start out and within half a year, they're over a thousand subscribers. Pretty darn good, right? And that still really doesn't mean anything if they haven't received their 4,000 hours worth of views. But some people, they manage to make it. And then there's others that it's taken a little longer. So just... It's still your decision to make if you want to stick with YouTube and see if it's really going to become something for you. Or you can go on ahead and check out Rumble.com and BitChute and see if you've got a greater hand on that one. Just saying. I just wanted to let you all know, any of you who's not even aware of it, and you signed on to YouTube hoping that you would become a big YouTuber and earn like PewDiePie the highest leading YouTuber as of thus far with the highest earnings thus far chances of getting to that point makes you wonder how long he's been a YouTuber but that isn't that's not even what this is about but if you signed on thinking that you had that greater chance, like I said, check out rumble.com and or BitChute. Uh, yeah, I'm slowly, I'm slowly moving it over, slowly. There's going to be less and less of me here on YouTube. Less and less, slowly. Anyway, I know this video is long. I hope that it's been informative. I hope that you understand what I'm saying. And I'm not pushing you to go to another platform. I'm just telling you what those options are for you to weigh the pros and cons on it. And hopefully I will see you move over. And hopefully I will see you become a great success. Anyway. I appreciate you guys. You all are so awesome. I appreciate you so very much. Thank you so much for viewing. I'll see you on the next video. And you all have a great day.